Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily had a wild imagination and a passion for painting. She would spend hours in her small attic room, bringing her dreams to life on the canvas. Her heart would flutter with joy whenever she dipped her brush into the vibrant colors and created something new. One sunny morning, a renowned artist named Mr. O'Connor arrived in the village. He had traveled the world, showcasing his masterpieces in prestigious galleries. News of his arrival spread like wildfire, and the villagers were excited to witness his artistic brilliance. Lily, brimming with enthusiasm, decided to meet Mr. O'Connor and seek his guidance. She believed that learning from him would unlock a new level of creativity within her. With her easel, paints, and an open mind, she went to the village square where Mr. O'Connor was set to display his work. As Lily approached, she saw an enormous crowd gathered around the artist, eagerly discussing his paintings. Mr. O'Connor was known for his unique style, abstract and unconventional. His art seemed to speak to the soul, evoking emotions that transcended words. Lily hesitated for a moment, feeling small in the face of such greatness. Doubts began to creep into her mind, whispering that her art could never compare. But deep down, she knew that she had to try. With trembling hands, she set up her easel next to Mr. O'Connor's display and started painting. Days turned into weeks, and Lily diligently painted alongside Mr. O'Connor. His art continued to mesmerize the villagers, while Lily's paintings remained unnoticed. Each night, she would return home feeling disheartened, her dreams of unlocking her creativity fading away. One evening, as Lily sat in her attic room, contemplating giving up, she noticed a small butterfly perched on her windowsill. Its delicate wings fluttered with grace, reminding her of the beauty that surrounded her. Inspired, Lily decided to paint the butterfly. Using bold strokes and vibrant colors, Lily poured her heart onto the canvas. She experimented fearlessly, ignoring the voice of doubt that had held her captive for so long. The more she painted, the more alive she felt. And soon, the image of the butterfly emerged. A symphony of colors dancing across the canvas. The next day, Lily placed her painting in the village square. The villagers, captivated by the sheer vibrancy and uniqueness of her work, flocked around it. They marveled at the delicate details and the burst of emotions it evoked. In that moment, Lily realized that embracing her freedom to fail had been the key to unlocking her creativity. Word of Lily's painting spread throughout the village, reaching even Mr. O'Connor's ears. Intrigued, he visited her and was astonished by her talent. He had been so caught up in his own style that he failed to recognize the beauty in other forms of art. Mr. O'Connor apologized to Lily for not seeing her potential sooner, and he offered to mentor her, sharing his techniques while encouraging her to maintain her unique voice. Together, they held a joint exhibition, showcasing their distinctive styles side by side. From that day forward, Lily's paintings graced galleries far and wide. Her artwork became a symbol of the freedom to fail and the courage to embrace one's individuality. People from all walks of life found solace and inspiration in her creations. And so, the village learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes, greatness lies not in following the footsteps of others but in daring to venture on a path entirely. Their own. The key to unlocking creativity is embracing the freedom to fail. For it is in the embrace of failure that true innovation is born.